Hi, Dane Carlson, Division Manager at Siler Medical. Uh, today what I want to go through is how to put the GoPro on correctly on our microscope. Uh, then I want to go through a couple of the functions that you need to be able to display it onto the monitor uh, and to take single shot images. First, you're going to be getting the backbone case which is going to include the actual GoPro which is customized uh, for our C-mount adapter. Uh, as you can see it has a cap on it. It's also going to include a little ring which is going to be used to attach this to our C-mount adapter. So you got your camera it's also going to come with your power cord. Remember our new Alpha Air has the built-in USB power supply. So what you'll end up doing, you're going to be able to charge this GoPro continuously from our Alpha Air. Uh, the nice thing about this, you never have to change a battery again. You don't have an existing 12 volt uh, power outlet going to the wall. So you got your GoPro, and we have our setup right here. We got our Alpha Air 6 step, right? We got our beam splitter. So uh, we have the 80-20 on one side, 50-50 on the other. The GoPro can go on either side, okay? So uh, for today's purposes, we're going to put it on the 2080. Here's our customized C-mount adapter for the GoPro. Uh, one thing I want to definitely point out is on the adapter, it should not have any additional ring, okay? So you should have just this locking portion right here. The only ring should be on the GoPro itself. So what I do, I attach the GoPro to the C-mount adapter and when you do this you just thread it on like any other camera. Okay, so orientation. Again, this ring down here is going to be the locking ring. So wherever I want to orientate this then I would lock this down. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, we have our beam splitter. We're going to slide this in directly into the beam splitter. I lock it down. All right, so what I want to make sure is a couple points on actually manipulating the camera uh, when we have it for uh, doctor's use. So turning on the GoPro is from the mode button, which is on the side. Do not turn it on from this red button. The red button is only to be able to take single shot images, uh, to record, to stop recording. Your mode button is what is going to be uh, turning the GoPro on and off. So. I want to make sure that I get these settings perfectly for uh, the doctor setup. So what that means, I'm going to th uh, swipe down, I'll go to preferences, click preferences, and then what you want to do is there's a few key uh, select areas that I want you to be able to uh, distinguish. All right, so you got your time, date, date format. One of the first options I want uh, us to be able to do is to give the voice control activation. So it comes automatically as off. However, if the doctor wants to be able to control it by saying uh, GoPro take photo, it just did, right? GoPro uh, so what you want to do is be able to uh, turn the voice activation on. 
All right, so, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Then as you go through, it's just very basic uh, beep volume, quick capture. So the next portion I want you to go to is under general, it says auto off. Press the auto off. It's going to give you a selection, right, of like 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Go to never. Select never. That way the GoPro stays on continuously. GoPro stop recording. So I have the voice recognition on at this point, maybe. What I also want to show you is when you go to screensaver, again, select it, go to never. All right, so those are the three main areas I want you to do. So you're going to have the auto uh, off, never, voice command on, and touch screensaver is never. Okay, so let's go back to the actual uh, live video. All right, and you just swipe up to get back to live video mode. Now, what I'm going to do is put the GoPro. Orientation wise, this is the best setup, okay? Uh, and it doesn't matter if you're on the other side. However, having the GoPro up is going to give you the exact uh, orientation of going from here to here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the microscope. I'm going to go ahead and charge. Okay, so it comes already equipped. USB power supply. So if you ever need to charge it, it's just right here. And it goes on the top. Take the USB. Plug it right there. Okay. So we always send the camera with a micro HD specific for the GoPro to HDMI. Okay, so we have the monitor up here. All I do, I plug in the HDMI, it's a regular HDMI connection, into uh, the port. I take the micro HD, plug it right into the output on the camera. Okay, so let's turn on the, mic, uh, the monitor. You can see GoPro is setting up. One thing I want to make sure you guys know, when the output comes to the monitor, your screen is going to become disactivated. You'll only be able to manipulate the camera from the actual control buttons on the GoPro. Okay? So it's going to come up immediately into your media stored images. This is going to give you the ability to uh, view any of your existing uh, images. So this is kind of your default mode of where this comes. So I want to show you in particular up here you're going to have a uh, left arrow, the signal to uh, touch the button, right media and a photo button. So the blue Right here, you're going to have your mode button. And what happens is when I press this, the actual blue, right, it selects what area I want to move it to. So if I want to move and look at different images, I'm at that right arrow button. If I want to actually select one of the images, I would then go to press my mode button until I'm highlighted on the selection. Then I press the red button up top. Okay. 
and that's going to then show me whatever image that was. Okay, say I want to get out of here. Again, I do the mode button. You see how it's highlighting. Then I go to the X. I press the red button to get back. All right, so to get to video or back to live video, I'm going to go depress it till I hit that, the icon, like the camera, on the top right until it becomes blue. I hit the red button. Okay, it, so I'm glad it happened, right? So, with the GoPro, it's going to have built-in speakers, right? So what you want to do is mute the monitor, all right? So just mute the monitor or turn the volume down. All right, so now I have live video going up to the image, right? So as you can tell, it's out of focus. All right. Again, what you want to do is you want to parfocalize the microscope, right? So what I would do, I would go through my parfocalization process on the microscope. Don't worry about being in focus on the camera. We want to be in focus on on the microscope itself. So, what I would do is I would go through my whole part focalization process. I know what it is, right? So, after I do the part focalization process, you'll go to the highest power okay and that's where you have this focus ring and you want to make sure you focus the camera to the monitor okay looks like we got a little something on there so now once I'm focused when I switch I'm gonna be in focus the whole time okay so we have the GoPro hooked up directly to the monitor uh, a couple things. Just make sure that the HDMI output equals whatever the GoPro is going into. So remember, the touch screen does not work anymore. So you got to use the buttons down on your GoPro. So we hit the mode button. Okay. And say I want to go to uh, taking a single shot image. So do you see, I'm pressing the mode button. Do you see the blue rectangle box sitting there moving around on this? So what I want to do is get to the left-hand corner. I want to press this until I see the camera. I let go of it, right? Because it's got to, once that bar goes down, now it activates in single shot images. So I want to take an image of this. I come up, I don't hit the mode button, I hit the red button up top. This is the button which is going to take an image. Okay, now since I'm in there, I can take the other, keep taking it. Say I want to go look at what I just took. I take, go to this little red, uh, media box, I come here. These were the images I just took are going to be displayed. Your most recent are going to be up here in the top left hand corner. All right, so say I want to take a look at it. I will move that, press the mode button. You see the blue right in the middle. I select it. All right, shows me what image I just took. I want to see the next. All I do is I select here. That's what I took last. That's what I took, all right. So I wanna get out of, you see, you press the mode, hit the X. All right, very, very simple. So say this over here, you wanna see all video, all photos, this is where you do it. So I come, I press this, okay. This top portion, that's gonna give me the all the videos, okay. Say I want to select down to the photos right here, clips, 
We don't have any of the clips. All media is going to be video and uh, cameras together. All right, so, so I want to get back to live mode. I go to that camera icon, I press this. Okay, so the two, play, the two icons you should be on are either going to be record, which is going to be the camera, or if I want to switch it to single shot image, it's this. All right. Now what I want to do after we have the GoPro all hooked up on the monitor is to make sure that we have the correct settings for the live video. Okay, so this camera, it's beautiful. It can go all the way up to 4K. I can go to 1080p. So really whatever monitor you have, you can then have this display the correct image. So, honestly, for a lot of the newer monitors, we can put this at a either a 4K or they give you an option of a 2.7K. Okay, so 2.7K, that's going to be for a little higher end than the 1080Ps. This is a big one, right? So this is 30 frames per second. If that says 30, I want you to switch it to 60. 60 is going to give you that seamless uh, video integration so there's no sort of uh, tracers or waves. So when I come here, I want to click this until I'm at 60. All right. Go ahead, keep it on a wide field of view. And we can then uh, begin. We also have a wireless remote, and you can pair that with the GoPro and it's a lot easier uh, than actually pressing the GoPro. I recommend that. Uh, also the GoPro voice commands. Um, the other thing that you can do is pair this with your local Droid iPhone tablet and uh, what you do is you download the app for the GoPro and under preference it will say pairing and then you pair the two together. So then what you're seeing on your uh, phone or tablet, you're seeing on the monitor. And you can actually use that to take single shot images and record as well. Thank you very much.